going up to Gilbert, out on the farm, we stayed on this little homestead. Jack would recognize this. Uh, and uh, two, two rooms, three kids, and I was just four. Bill was about four years old, and my sister Margaret, who passed away earlier, uh, she was uh, eight years older than me. So Bill was right in the, in the middle of all this. And uh, Bill was destined, I swear to God, to be a mechanical engineer. Uh, he grew up following Dad, just like Mark said. Uh, he knew a lot about tractors, combines, overhauling, and uh, he was so delicate about things he did. It would drive me nuts <laughs> when we were growing up. Uh, here's an example. If I bought something was one and a half inches long, Bill would say, no, 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 that's one and three eighths. <laughs> well, uh, mind you, my mind ran in generalities. Bill's ran in specifics. That's why he, uh, he was destined to be an engineer, best I can say. While uh, I rode stick horses around, Bill worked on engines. Uh, anyway, Bill growing up, uh, he uh, was in 4-H. He loved 4-H. He raised uh, darn rabbits for a while, but the rabbits kind of got uh, multiplying a little bit too much. <laughs> so my mother and dad kind of put a stop to that. But uh, so he gave up the... Uh, the, uh, and went into raising hogs, pigs, and he would show them at the county fair, and uh, he would get a ribbon or, or not, whatever, but Bill loved that. Uh, but growing up on that farm, uh, understand, no running water, outdoor bathrooms, and uh, uh, he, uh, Coal burning stove, and it, uh, it, it, it was kind of tough going because um, I was born at the end of the uh, Depression in 38, but my sister and brother, you know, they, they were kind of in the thick of it. But uh, things that uh, we did, uh, they did, uh, Bill had to go get the cow, and they had a cow, and have a cow out there to separate her. that farm until it was uh, Margaret turned six so then she we came to town a big town by the way 300 maybe 250 if you take the grain bins out of that town right now it's about 25 uh, but anyway uh, we stayed uh, out there and then moved to town but in the summertime, we'd always move back out on the farm so we didn't have to drive back and forth. And uh, a couple things Bill uh, thought was funny, and he, obviously, I was too small. This is Bill's story. But Bill would uh, one time came in, and because he and Margaret played together, and uh, you have to understand, you're on a homestead, you, you don't have a next door neighbor, you know. You do. It's about probably three or four miles away. So anyway, Bill and Margaret played a lot. And one time, Bill came running into the house. And this is his story. Came running into the house and said, Margaret fell down the well. <laughs> my God, my mother, I guess she jumped. And, uh, and Bill, he ran around. And then he, Margaret, my mother started walking, running out of the house. And Bill started laughing. He said, oh, that's just a joke. <laughs> and, uh, another thing Bill told me about, and I, I was involved in this, I was very small, and uh, Mother evidently was changing my diapers on the table, which was right next to the coal burning stove, uh, and uh, uh, 
Bill came in, and all of a sudden, I let it go. <laughs> and there was a stream that went up. Now, this is Bill's story, you understand? <laughs> uh, there was a stream that went up over, down on the stove, and he thought it was so damn funny, sizzling on that stove. Uh, so anyway, it was... People were kind of hard up for entertainment, so they got a kick out of anything. Uh, Bill was a little older than me, like I said, and when I got up to uh, probably the fourth or fifth grade, Bill wanted to be a pitcher. See, on the High Line, that's up way in northern Montana, and uh, the High Line had towns every, every six miles, approximately because of the grain coming in from the farms, you know, they only had to go about six miles to get to an elevator. But, so every team though, in the summer, every, every town, had a town team baseball team. And Bill, he wanted to be the pitcher. Well, he got me up here, and I'm not very big. Well, I am now. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, he, uh, uh, I was the catcher, and he would burn them in on me, and finally I'd throw that ball down. I said, I'm going to go get my horse. And uh, he got mad about me a little bit, but not much. Uh, we were in the military about the very same time. Bill uh, went to ROTC at Montana State uh, College at that time, and uh, uh, I, was, I was drafted about the same time he went in. So we were both in there about uh, the same time. The only thing, I wound up in Germany. And I'm going to give you a little tidbit here, and, and there's no charge for this, by the way. Uh, Bill was uh, in the military and married, and uh, Mark was born. And uh, while Bill was having babies, I was buddying around with Elvis Presley. <laughs> so I spent I spent about 18 months with Elvis Presley at Bowling Green. Uh, Bill he loved those rallies, and uh, he kept bugging me about coming to these rallies with the Newmar Club, and uh, uh, and I would say, well, okay, I'll, I'll maybe come, and then he'd tell me, no, I guess you can't go because you don't have a Newmar Club. You, you're not in the Newmar Club. Well, the Newmar Club kind of went on some uh, hard times, you might say. So they started to accept other people. So we went to uh, uh, Goshen, Indiana. That was one uh, nice trip we had. I met Bill, or my wife and Ar Arlene. We met uh, Bill in, in Sydney, uh, Nebraska. And uh, then we went on another one at Escondido. And then we also tied up the one in Pueblo. But the one thing, uh, Bill, he was the president of the Newmar Club in school for the state. Yeah. yeah. Don't go to sleep on me now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, this was, uh, uh, we, we were called the SOBs every time we went in there. Uh, I know what you're thinking, but it stands for some other make <laughs> or brand. Other brand. brand, that's right. Anyway, when Bill called, uh, uh, told me that he was going to get married again, uh, I said, well, okay, uh, what's, what's up? And Sue's, uh, uh, Bill said, well, her name's Sue, and uh, uh, she has three kids. I said, holy God, Billy, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, yes, and I'm going to love him. I know I will. <laughs> and I tell you, it turned out great. Uh, they went on the honeymoon. And uh, you guys came with us. I know. <laughs> and we, Arlene and I, we went with them at their invitation. And uh, I didn't see him for two weeks in Honolulu. And, but anyway, we got along. <laughs> uh, but uh, it was our, by the way, our 25th wedding anniversary. Uh, 
uh, last August we just had our 60th wedding anniversary. So, yeah, I will. Uh, anyway, I, I just want to leave this with uh, uh, see, being a principal, you don't know when the hell to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, getting tied up with Sue, it, it, it made Bill another life. It really did. She became his guardian angel and lived through that for for many, many years. Uh, I wish I could have gotten up here to see Bill a couple of months ago, but I just couldn't make it. Uh, I guess my last word, it, it wasn't in God's plan to make it trip, but we're here now. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope I didn't bore you, but you're not the first God I've <laughs>